Okay, in this lesson, we want to talk about another tool, Image Editor. We can use Image Editor tool in two ways. First way is click on this Image Editor. This, pan this uh, window will pop up and you can open image file here and choose your image and then edit on this. You can import any image from your PC system or load image from clipboard for example you are in a google and right click save image and the image save on your clipboard and you can load it from the clipboard or completely create a new empty canvas the best way is for example when we uh, full screen and in this page we can right click and edit image this is to uh, wait the method two is for reaching the edit image tools. As you saw before, these tools uh, appear in a region, but uh, in a region we have just three <coughs> region for freehand, ellipse and rectangle, but these are image editing tool after you capture and you want to enter or create shape, text and uh, other things. Option sitting are uh, also I explained you in the previous lessons. They are fixed here. The image <clears throat> option are fixed here. If these icons are very uh, small, you can change the menu size icon here. You can in here you can new image. You can open image. You can change your <clears throat> image size here. For example, this is full HD. You can type any number the tick this option for maintain aspect ratio of course when the software changing the image size it's resampling you can choose any method that you want you can in the image option these three uh, options are fixed when we click on any of this tool a um, new option appear <coughs> that is tool option Okay, image option, you can crop image, the tool is here, <clears throat> the tool is here, you can rotate image clockwise or counterclockwise, or you can flip, okay, these are fixed tools that you can use, or simply add effects, that it's very huge effects that uh, I will teach you in the next lessons okay here you can control Z control V the edit options delete all <clears throat> and explain these two uh, just a second we begin from here you can uh, draw a rectangle simply you can click and drag and change it you can change the size with these handles when you create a rectangle, these two options will appear. In here, you can change the fill color of that. And here, you can border. You can change the border color of this. When you, uh, and as you see, the tool option appear here, the option for these drawing tools. You can change the border size as so. Uh, you can change the border radius this bending here you can change the border style dash dot or anything that you want or solid color you can use a shadow or not <clears throat> you can change the shadow uh, color this is simply easy you can draw ellipse or you can hold shift for doing proportionally or maintain aspect ratio or you can uh, draw a square with holding shift <clears throat> when you want to select and move the rectangle you have you have to be in a rectangle tool if you want to select and move uh, ellipse shapes you have to go into ellipse shapes and drag 
Okay, options are the same. In a free hand, you can, when we are, when we are on a free hand, the fill color disappear and just we have a border color. You can draw any shape that you want. And you can uh, go into the select and move and select all of the shape that you decide. These are the uh, actually vector. Okay, going freehand, you can sh uh, shape a line, you can draw a line, you can change these numbers. In the draw line, we have uh, another sitting up here, center, num uh, center point. You can reduce or increase or decrease that point, as you saw, as you see. You can change them. <clears throat> and that's it. You can change the width of the line or style of the line okay you can uh, draw arrow for example pointing something in a tool option you can border slide to for example solid center point you can change the center point and at any point in between and here uh, another option will be added arrow head direction you can uh you can appear the arrow at the end just or the both or at the start you can change the arrow drop shadow a shadow color <clears throat> here you can uh in this option image option no in the edit option you can delete all for example to clean here you can text outline just click and type your text here type your text here you can change the font you can change the size you can here change the color you can bold italic or uh, any paragraph that you want to type when you want to go in, in a two line two you for example type it instead of hitting in, enter you have to hold control and then enter to go into <clears throat> next line and hit ok and this uh, in text with the gradient, you can go into the, uh, sorry, to its uh, double click on it to bring their option. This is a gradient. I enable that. You can disable that. It's okay. And you can go just in the fill color. The fill color of the text are here and the border of the text are here. You can change it. You can enable the gradient. Uh, the first color is this and the second color is here this is, little, this is uh, almost strange but the second color you can choose it here and you can see the gradient this is the text with the background just click enter anything that you want it's just a simple color and here you can type a text with a background for uh, and you remember when you want to move and select it you have to go that tool and then select it go into the that tool and then select it <clears throat> double click to edit it that's okay here if you want to ch change the color you can change the fill color and the border color and text on it <clears throat> here is a speech balloons simply click type any text on it it's okay and here you can make this shape like this and you can click and drag to change this handle here is a step tool you can simply add numbers step one two three any click that you want you can change the color border color and in its sitting here you and something add here the value of the first step we can tell the software it's picking from number one or for example number three click here three two as you see and uh, bring back to one here the type step type numbers letters you can continue with letters if you want to <clears throat> bring from the first you have to go into the edit and delete for example all and in a step tool you can bring from a b c d e f g h 
and letters, Roman letters, or our lowercase, uppercase Roman numbers. We can add it. Okay, simply delete all. Okay, I want to explain something. You can draw any shape that you want. Another shape with uh, another color. For example, I want to this uh, rectangle be behind it, this rectangle. What can I do? Select it and here, here. You can bring to the front, bring to the backward or send to the back. Simply do that with any shape that you want. It bring to front, bring front of all shape, send to back of all the shape, uh, send back for one step, bring forward one step. <clears throat> so you can change them. Here is the interesting uh, tools magnify. You can simply click and drag to magnify. As you see, where is my magnify? Because you have to pay attention. You have to disable fill color. For disabling uh, or kill fill color, you have to click on this transparency and hit OK. And this is my magnify. And you can change the border of color in a sitting you can mag you can change the magnify strengths or the border size border style and interpolation mode uh, as you see we increase the image size and because of that when we uh, hit ok and <clears throat> we want to set these uh, changes to the picture we have to resampling and you can uh, for example, in this mode, near, nearest neighbor is best. Uh, from here, you can select it and click on the scene. You can import an image in the, that you want. Here, you can insert any sticker that you want. We have a lots of sticker here. You can import it. Any sticker that you want. You have to select it and then click it. You can change the sticker size here. And you can add any sticker that you want. Okay, you can change the size before inserting. This is strange, but nothing. You can insert any cursor for your work here. Uh, in a, in the settings, you can insert all kind of cursor that you want. Okay, all cursor. All of windows we have a smart eraser for erasing this vector these are vector as you saw you can delete any of that vectors this is a smart okay <clears throat> going here and delete all here is a blur for blurring something in your image that you want to see that and other person see that you can blur it in its settings. You can change the blur strings. Or you can pixelate instead of blur. In its settings, you can change pixel size. And the highlight for highlighting your important text or place. You can change your whole highlight color here, for example. You can, you can mention any important apart from your screen and the last tool is crop tool here you can simply click and click and drag and crop your image and hit ok or you when you use any of that tools for uh, set it and prepare it you can you have to click on this green tick and finish okay those are a simple image tool edit image tool and that's it